just what he's just okay. He's just Church. a country motherfucker. I can't wait to pull up at my first high school reunion. I can't wait to walk up in there and not acknowledge some damn hobbies. I can't wait to the prime queen walk up and try to score me. I'ma turn her down and drive away in something fucking far. Duck, Duck buying for the paint seats on a safety yard. Wallet fatter than a black and tan with bad thighs. Bad thighs in the country. Oh, oh. Overall wear, Smith and Wesson in my pocket. I've been chewing on tobacco. What the hell? Close it off. So what's up YouTube? I sense the the rage is the new nine millimeter carbine. Um, I took the lower that I already had by a nine millimeter upper from Grid Defense. I already had a bolt carrier group from South Palmetto for the nine millimeter. And I'm gonna run the nine millimeter from my AR, standard, regular AR platform, pistol. But here's the ticker. We got these P mags, right? Mean mags uh, makes an insert that you put into your standard Gen 2 or Gen 3 P mag and it turns it into, you guessed it, Holds 9 millimeter. I got some uh, full metal jacket in this one. And in this one, I have some hollow point that I usually run for home defense. I primarily built this just for home defense. That way I can run some 9 millimeter in it and uh, run some uh, hollow points in there so I'm not really going through the walls and Grid Defense has this nice upper, and uh, it's got and it's got the flash can here with the it's dimpled all the way up to about right here. It's a five and a half inch barrel. You got some flip up sights here from Magpul. Came with the the Raptor and Force Light here. I do have a heavier buffer from Spikes Tactical in case I have to in case I had to go up and wait on the. On the heavier buffer but I don't know we're gonna we're gonna see if this all goes together and works and you do have to leave your bolt carrier back when inserting your first mag on these uh, just the way it works but it does lock back on the last round from from what I've seen remember eyes and ears first round full metal jacket grid defense and mean arms the endo mag is what we call it so convert your regular p mags into nine millimeter so first round here we go first round good so we have three zero 30 rounds of full metal jacket and we're going to see if we have any hiccups Only one, one hiccup. All right. Well, one last one that didn't, didn't fire. Put her on safe. We'll take this other one. There we go. That last one, that last one didn't fire again. There it goes. Not all that bad. I, I mean, you know, if you're on a budget or whatever, I mean, it pretty much a couple little hiccups, but nothing you can't, you know, fight through. Let's put her on safe and we're going to try the hollow points. Some hollow points in this one. Get a... Seated in there properly. Yep, first one went in there. So far the first round, feeded, and that's hollow point. Fire. Yeehaw. All right, 
Well, same issue. Looks like the last round that's in these mags does not get feeded through. It is locking back on the 29th round and just not loading this last one. So there we go. I just uh, put on say uh, I just scooted the last round up, inserted a mag back in, and then it worked. Uh, goddamn beast! It looks like this is gonna work out for me. I'll get some more practice in with it and run it through some more tests and whatnot. But so far, so good. <sighs> it's a big ass wasp, and it's hanging out right by my light bar, right up here, and he's just chilling. Gotta love Mother Nature. Up further that way is the rest of Wheeler's Pass. Goes through the mountains and drops out by the high desert prison, state prison, Nevada. And then right over there, right over there is home. Because home, shooting pit, Wheeler's Pass. Those mags were called the, the endo mag. I don't know if I got it right when I said it by mean arms. Well, due to YouTube's policies, demonetize this shit if I put links. So you're going to have to Google it and make things difficult. Simply push that in, open it. Here we go. We'll push this out. This is what it looks like. And then it accepts your standard nine mil. Take your old spring out. Take your endo mag. Insert. Take your base plate. Push that down a little bit. And you are ready to load your rounds. One thing that I forgot to mention was this little piece right here. It was originally longer. So about right down here. And it has a spot for you to cut it here, here, and then of course right here. Here accepts your 30 rounds, and then 20 rounds, and then 10 rounds if you live in a communist state. You can buy them by the single or they have a three pack. I got the three pack. So with the slide back, you can see that response is good. There we go. So, goody goody. Well, for the 60 rounds that I already sent down range, I, I'm not gonna complain. Only a couple hiccups. It's nothing yet you can't. It's nothing you can't fight through.